For every clinic I go, it's very funny when you go to CMT clinic, you, you try to, to, to have a, you know, a solution for CMT. If you go to a neurologist, uh, you know you have something rare when you have like 20 people around you uh, looking at your foot. It's so funny, my foot is more known than me. It's great. <laughs> so every clinician, when they, they see me. So we, we are seen for five Five different professionals, for example, uh, the geneticist, and then we see um, orthopedist, and then we see a uh, um, uh, brace person, an uh, orthotist, and then we see, you know, someone to do labs and to do, a, you know, all the, the, G, the DNA research and all that, and we always walk away from the clinic with nothing in our hands. No pills, because there's no cure, no treatment, because there's, they don't know what to do. When they see my food, they all run to the other side. <laughs> they all, I, so I, I, it's very frustrating when you go to big clinics in LA, like the, one of the most respectful ones, uh, looking for the professors in, in neurology. You always walk away with nothing in your hands. The only solution is surgery. And the, the sur surgeon, when they look at me, they're like, oh, they're like, it's like a cake in front of a kid. They can't wait to go in. First, I'm a dancer. I still work out. I'm a good candidate for a surger, for a sur surgeon in a surgery. So they all want to do the surgery. They say, hey, your foot is a D minus, but I can turn your foot into, into a in the C plus or a C or a B minus. And I was like, if I'm gonna go through surgery, can I have a A plus? <laughs> you know, it never have that. So they all want to do the surgery. And it's so funny because the insurance, they all approve it, left and right, a surgery. And they, it's like, it's so easy to get a surgery done and so expensive. I, it's crazy to have a surgery done. And the, the downtime for a dancer and for a CMT patient, for example, it's really hard on the body. And if you stop, you gain weight, you gain weight, more pressure in the joints. It's just the domino effect that happened to Charcot-Marie Tooth patients. But with all the downtime, not working, and uh, all the recovery, uh, amount of time that I would spend, it would cost at least from 75,000 to 100,000, 120,000 to do this surgery on my foot. And, and the brace is just, oh my God, a fraction of all this. I just, I just, I can't believe it. They all send me to orthotists and every orthotist, I met basically every orthotist in Los Angeles. They all don't know what to do with my feet, my foot. They don't, they don't know how to address it. The outer rotation, the deformity, they don't know what to, how to pick up the foot in a proper way. It's not like, uh, it's not, not like wearable. Nothing is wearable. It breaks. I broke a noodle in a Zumba class because I'm active and I don't want to stop being active. Every orthotist in town or that I have ever seen, they're always scared <laughs> of my foot. Poor guy. So, you know, one orthotist saw me and he said, I am going to try to do a noodle for you. You know, I'm going to try to make it happen for you. And I'm going to, uh, because it's, the outer rotation is so pro pro prominent, so, so acute. So they try to elevate the, the insole. They try to do everything that didn't address the rotation. It can pick up the foot, but they're never going to address the deformity. So he said, the only person can help you is Marmaduke, a uh, dynamic bracing solution. I was like, oh man, I, come on. Is that the only one person? I, I can't believe it. He was like, yeah, you're not going to believe there's just one person and it's the DBS uh, brace that really can assist with this case, this specific case. Because CMT is different in everybody's body. It's very unique it, it, to understand the... Um, the anatomy and um, to revert the, what CMT does to a body, you know, it's very, you have to really custom uh, for every person. It's very unique, uh, CMT. Sometimes you have it in both feet, sometimes you have just in one, sometimes it's mild, sometimes you're in a wheelchair. It's very, it's a creepy, crazy um, condition out there. But I really start believing that Marvel Duke was the only guy because I went to another orthotist and um, sent by this big neuro neurology, neurology clinic. 
So I started believing that Mamadouk is the guy because I, this other guy kept saying, <laughs> the Mamadouk's name keep popping somehow in every orthodox that I went in Los Angeles. So I went to another guy. I didn't rest until I found a solution for this. Um, I couldn't live with that anymore, and I'm terrified of surgery. I'm so scared of surgery. And um, I, I always want to find a conservative way to save my foot before I do a surgery. I think everybody should do that, not just go to surgery. Please don't. So you out there with TMT. Um, so I went to another guy, um, uh, another orthodist, and uh, he also said Mama Duke. I was like, oh man, I, I, now I'm curious to meet this guy. <laughs> so here I go. And uh, I came and I met Mama Duke and I showed my feet. And instead of running away, he was right there. I was like, okay, let's do this. So it was like, okay, that, that confidence is so unique when people see my foot. <laughs> And it's so funny because my foot is always in a sock, always hidden. And then it was the first time that we could, uh, I had faith in really finding a, a solution for, the, for, for this foot, for this angry ankle foot problem.